is going on everybody this is your boy man up coming at you with one more video today miss lolo jones if you don't know who that is she's a track star in hurdling and in uh she's a bobsledder as well she opens up about her dating difficulties she says sometimes you give up hope now i have mixed emotions about this article the first one, I want to say congratulations to Lolo Jones for being a 38-year-old virgin. She says she's saving herself from marriage. And I'm saying congratulations because she didn't let the temptations, peer pressure, nothing of this world get to her. Because we all know anything you watch, you listen to, is all talking about sex. So her husband is going to be the luckiest man on earth. You can barely find a woman in her 30s that don't have kids, let alone a woman in her 30s that is a virgin. He going to get him a pure woman. Do you know how rare that is? <laughs> That's damn near non-existent. It's almost ex it's, uh, extinct like the dinosaurs. <laughs> now, another emotion that I have about this, she says, like she said, she's give up, giving up hope. I like to say, don't give up hope. Because the love of your life might be around the corner and you just don't know it. And that kind of leads me into my final mixed emotion about this. The reason why the love of her life might be around the corner and she don't know it is because she's looking for a certain type of individual. And I like to always tell people, you're never going to find this certain type of guy. And let's just say this kind of guy does exist. What makes you think he wants you? If this guy that you that you created in your head exists, he has women at his feet. Why would he want you? I mean, I'm just saying, just, just a question. What makes you better than the next woman? That's all I'm saying. He might not want a virgin. He might want some a woman that knows how to work it in the bedroom. And of course, a virgin is not going to know how to work it in the bedroom. So, I mean, I'm just saying. You just never know. But all I'm saying is this here. Don't ever give up hope. And you're never going to find the exact person that you want. Never. That's the reason why somebody came up with that 80-20 rule. Which was a smart idea to come up with that rule. Because if you're at least getting 80% of what you want, then the 20% shouldn't matter. Me personally, I like to say 70-30 or maybe even 75-25. Because as long as you can say you're more happy than you are not happy, then you shouldn't have really have any complaints at all. What I'm saying though is this. I get we all want what it is that we want. But also too at the end of the day. If you can what's going to get exactly what you want. Everybody be lined up for it. And since everybody's not lined up for it. That's because it don't exist. A lot of women want a rich man. Guess what? These rich men have the have the have a sea of women waiting to get at them. You see what I'm saying? A lot of women want a doctor. They want lawyers. Guess what? Them guys have women lined up around the corner waiting on them. Have other women just poking at their relationship, trying to break them up. <laughs> My point in saying all that is this. You're not going to find Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. And I'm not saying settle for Mr. or Mrs. Right now. No. I'm saying find who works out for you. And then I bet you anything you'll be more happy than what you ever thought you would would have been. Because what if you find Mr. Right and he turns out not to be Mr. Right? Then what you going to do or say? 
Oh, a man will put on a front to get with you. A man will. Then once you find out that he ain't what you thought he was, then what? Then you're going to regret it. There are some men out there that will. Hmm, I'm going to look Lolo Jones up. She said she's a virgin. I'm going to try to get with her. Some men will marry you just to get what's between your legs. And then you find out this ain't what you thought it was. So I'm just saying. Some men will say, hmm, I'm going to look her up within a year or two. Marry her, get what's between them legs, because she's pure. You see? So that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying go ahead and get with whoever. No. It's your life. You have to make the best decisions for it. But what I am saying, though, is there is no such thing as Mr. or Mrs. Right. There's no such thing. If it was, everybody would want that person. <laughs> Whether you're gay or straight, everybody would want that person. So with that being said, Miss Lolo Jones, like I said, I congratulate you on being a virgin. You didn't let the peer pressures or the temptations of the world get to you. And I understand, you know, you're having difficulties getting with someone that you can really see yourself being with. We all had those struggles. I understand that. But also, too, I just want to say there is no such thing as Mr. In her case, Mr. Wright. So with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. This is your boy Man Up. I'm Chunkin' the Deuce. I'm going to holler at you.